Hi, this is Natalie from Line.Arrow from the Netherlands and we are here to play bingo for the third time this week. And for those of you who just pop in and don't know anything about what's going on, um, I well, tomorrow actually is the 29th of April and then it's the second year anniversary of my Etsy store. It is also um, the birthday of my father-in-law. I started the shop two years ago on the birthday of my father-in-law um and this is the first birthday uh, he's not with us anymore so it's a very weird day tomorrow but um well there is sadness but there's also a lot to celebrate like the second year anniversary so that's why i did the bingo uh thing again um we did it in um last christmas and some of you really enjoy doing it and i have to say it i i enjoy it too and I can give something back to you for all of you supporting me. And I have the prizes. There's a video where I show you the prizes. And there's also a, a giveaway of the journal. And in between the number drawing, we make some stuff. And I'm just doing a recap really, really quick. The first day we made these French ephemera cards. Well, I finished them off. I already started with the embossing. This is one of the ephemera sets I have in my shop. And... It is French and I thought, okay, this is nice because I went on a trip to France last weekend. So we made these. And uh, the other thing we did yesterday uh, was these are um, this one and this one and the little one inside is a sheet with um, three tags. They are made by me. Uh, everything is, uh, well, I made it and I scanned them. And we use this as, um, well the front cover and the back cover of a little booklet and I binded it with the rings and I turned this into tuck spot. I wanted to put something else in it but it didn't fit and but it has to go in something like this. Uh, I am going to finish it uh, but not today because I'm just going to pop some papers in I think or what I also thought is okay maybe I can put more of the tag things in uh, every time I make a new tag but I'm, I'm not sure yet. Um, but I will finish it, but I'm not sure if it will be on the bingo uh, drawing videos. Um, because I had something in my mind I wanted to do. Um, I thought, okay, can I do this? Um, I, I don't know still, because I ended up with something totally different. Um, but I made this. And uh, I just made it before I start filming. I tested it out. Um, I wanted to do something with stamping on fabric and that's not a new thing and maybe this is not new also uh, but it's um, I have a lot of shirts from my husband old uh, shirts that I cut up and and they are lying underneath my desk uh, and I think okay I can do something with these so I turned it into some sort of it's not completely fabric but it's it's very flexible like fabric and it has a very long tag in it and I thought okay maybe I can take you along uh, trying to make this um, if you don't have a sewing machine and you don't have access to fabric uh, I think we can also pull this off with paper but I'm going to show you it with fabric first and if somebody is interested in seeing a version of me <laughs> doing it in paper um, let me know um, and you can always um, instead of sewing you can glue of course but you don't have the, um, the stitches that makes it more interesting but you can also add more um, trims or lace so it doesn't have to be stitched but yeah um, let's start off by making one I want to make a blue one this time and the tiny bits the butterflies and the numbers are this is from my ephemera kit and I have a video on and you see the scan and cut from brother I cut these out and I have a I printed out one set maybe two sets and uh, well I'm still using them um, in my project so this is uh, the first thing we are going to do make the base for the tag and then I'm going to do number drawings and then we're going to finish this project. 
and there was a lady commenting that she had bingo but she only had uh, all the numbers under the B and I know that's a common way to play bingo but in this case because there is uh, a delay in time differences in all the countries I said okay just play for the full bingo card and again if you have the bingo card full and you announce you have bingo that doesn't mean you really won <laughs> um, because somebody else is watching the video a day later and she has bingo too and it depends in the order the numbers are drawn if I make any sense I did it in with the Christmas and I, I made a whole sheet um, compared the cards and and then I can say oh this one had first this one had second and this one was the third who had bingo that's why I have three prizes uh, but I will explain when the time is there so when you have bingo it doesn't mean you necessarily won first prize I just wanted to make that clear so the whole bingo card one of your personal bingo cards has to be full completely before you have bingo and I have added the rules again today so just you can reread <laughs> again um, let's start off I said I want to make a blue one I have a few of these cards that I bought at a very cheap store we have here in the Netherlands um, the fabric I used is uh, it's sort of I don't know maybe it's it's not jute but it's not linen it's 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 uh, bigger than linen the, the threading is bigger it's not as smooth but it's it's very nice um, but you can also rip uh, a piece from a shirt uh, like this this is also from a shirt and if you have or a, or a bedding sheet cotton bedding sheet that's I was thinking about it uh, your, your bedding sheet the, the cotton type in, in, over here you have very inexpensive uh, kinds that are really thin so if you use it on your bedding you will it will get ripped very sh very soon very quickly uh, but it I think it was it, it will be great for crafting because you can tea or coffee dye it you can rip it you can ink it you can stamp on it and it's soft I thought well okay maybe I just go off and buy one of the sheets but shirts is an option too um, yeah I want to use this one uh, I did cut off a piece of I don't know which color oh, I have three I have different colors they are all different tinted this one and the stamps that I use and I'm not going to do the stamping on camera uh, I used a stamping tool um, I don't know how you call it but when you can stamp multiple times on the same place because I did need to do that to be honest oh there are things dropping over here it's a mess this is not sure if you can see um, oh, maybe I put this behind these are uh, in the prices these stamps not in all uh, but these are in and I also have uh, some ornament sort of stamps and post-it stamps but I uh, used this one on this one and I used this one on this one not sure if you can see and I stamped um, because with the stamping platform you can re-ink so you can I, I, I did it twice to get this result which I think it's very cool I'm going to take this out of the way I'm not going to do the stamping because well I already stamped the next thing I did I cut off a piece of this card like so and I have it here <laughs> I'm sort of prepared today um, and then I had uh, a piece oh, sorry something dropping of cheesecloth and I'm going to cut off a piece to use but it can also be something else it doesn't have to be cheesecloth but it's very thin to layer And I have a oh, whole bunch of this. So I took this and on top you leave a little strip on over here. I'm not sure if you can see. Maybe I zoom you in this way. 
because this is where I usually work and then I have to sit all the way over here um, and I I just sewn it on but I left this open so I sewn around this area and I didn't cut off anything but I'm going to slide it over to here otherwise I can because I don't need this and I probably don't need this too so so I'm going to do the sewing in a minute I'm going to just put it over here then we have the card and I also have um, different uh, fabrics and now that I see this I'm thinking um, obviously this needs to be over here because I want the blue side on the back um, I thought about putting this on the tag so Um, like so, I'm just checking because I want to add an, an extra layer and like this is a very good fabric to stamp on. I also made um, envelopes from fabric and I stamped um, postage stamps on it, uh, I can even make small um, stamps stem size um, fabric and then stamp little stems on it <laughs> stamp little stems on it but you know what I mean I am I certain I'm going to put it over here I think so this on top and this over here okay I need to first sew this on and cut this a little bit smaller or I can sew it on all at once I can sew it on all at once yeah that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to layer these am I doing it the right way maybe I can cut this or I pull it down a little okay yeah first glue on this now first before I put it cut it in a sort of tag shape angle oh. the easiest way to do it is like so and you've probably seen this many many times before and if you haven't this is a nice way to make some sort of the same angle. It's not exactly the same, but it's okay. Then I'm going to put a little bit of glue. A little bit more on the inside so I don't stitch through the glue all the time. Because that's not good for your sewing machine. And then I'm going to place the fabric over here. Where is my... I can't find it here. And now we have the shape. I'm just going to... Um, how did I do this? Mm, yeah. I'm going to mimic the tag. But I did cut off a little bit, bit of the tag after I sew this on. I will show you in a minute. So now we have this. Um, so what I'm going to do 
I'm going to sew these three together over here. Just stitch zigzag. And then I'm going to sew on this tag around like I did with this one. And then we also need to make a little journaling tag card. But let me do the sewing part first. So, okay, I did all the sewing. Um, now I'm cutting off the threads. I could have done this off camera too, but yeah. And maybe, I think of this now, I should have used um, a different color of thread on this tag. Because you don't see it over here. You see it on this side. We, we, we even could, um, because that would make it more interesting, um, turn this around. And instead of using the back side to write on, use the back side... Um, as it is now, um, I'm going to explain a little bit, bit better. One moment. Because I wanted to have this on front, like so. But now I'm thinking, okay, we can also put it over here and we have this at the back side that's a possibility too not sure what I want A little bit too much. Just check. Okay, first let me. When you sew, you sew a little bit to the inside so you are able. It's not easy. You can do it. Oh, sorry. Okay, this one I can cut like this to make it just a little bit smaller. Maybe this is not a necessary step for, but for me it is because I always do this. <laughs> I mess up. And when we are done with the text, I will inform you about Mr. Supervisor because he has um, he had a um, I don't know how you call it not an X-ray but an ultrasound today. I'm just inking around the fabric also and also around the tag Decide what we Ooh, this is a nice strip. Oh, I am going to layer. I can see it. Okay, I have to <laughs> to get back to the sewing machine because I want to sew this on. 
Um, let me figure out if we are going to do it this way. And then this will be the back side. Yeah, we're going to do it this way. I'm going to sew this on. And then we are going to glue this together. Okay, I almost forgot something. I did sew this on, but I want to cut this a little bit smaller. And the reason why I will show you. Okay, I have to do it like this. Uh, sorry, I had a little interruption, but I cut this a little bit smaller so you can see the, the blue part a little bit better. And um, I also want to fray this a little bit more. Oh, there are threads everywhere. Now my son is ill again. I had a very busy day today. From the doctor to the dentist, from the dentist to the vet. And I was awake until 3 o'clock in the, in the night. Uh, because my son is sick and he had a very high fever. Um, but he had a fever and a very high fever actually. Uh, 39 degrees and I think it's even higher because he... Stop measuring too soon. Uh, we can attach this over here. So I'm going to do a little stitching over here. Because on this one I only had um, the pocket and some cheese cloth. But this is an extra layer. And then I'm going to glue it on. And then we still have to make a little thing to go in. And put something over here. So I did stitch over here too, and it's not the best stitching, but it doesn't have to be perfect, because it's just for fun. Um, and we're going to put some glue on the outside of the stitching, otherwise you glue the, the pocket, because it's fabric, so the glue is going through. And now that I'm doing this, I'm thinking... If I don't put glue over here, I have an extra pocket, a hidden one. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to place it over here. Oh, this is so much better than your hand, because there's no glue on your hands now. Um, I do need to glue down this very well, otherwise I can't put something in. Am I still recording? Yes. Yeah, my son is constantly interrupting me. Um, I did cut out a little strip already and one tip if you have to put something in a small area or uh, every check if you round the corners just a little a tiny corner rounder it slides in slides in much easier um, on this one I created some sort of tab with this thing uh, I'm not really thrilled about it uh, I thought about adding a butterfly on top so I need to cut this down just a little. No, I'm not going to cut it down now because first I need to figure out the, the length of the one that I'm going to put over here. I'm going to put in two. So I have to make another one. I have no clue if this is the right size. I'm just eyeballing stuff. Probably not. I don't measure. Okay, I need to take off a little strip to, to 
to make it go in easy. So note to self, first, first fit into pocket before you round the corner. It's way easier to do. Quickly go to ink. to measure I don't think it's straight I cut a little bit above the tag so I have the right length and I'm going to make it straight with the paper cutter that's easier for me um, am I going to round the corners? Not so sure about that. Oh yeah, I'm going to with the small one. This one is in here. And this one goes in the front pocket. So I didn't think this out, this just popped into my head, oh maybe I can put something behind too. I'm just going to mark it and I'm cutting it off straight with this. Do something extra. Um, I think that would be fun. The stamping platform again. On the magnets. So I have this one. Uh, just a tip when you glue down fabrics or papers and you put in, you want to, these are all together now. Oh, but if you want to put in a tag into a just glued on pocket, wait, <laughs> otherwise, you glue down the tag into the pocket. And I tell you this because I know it can happen. This one over here. No, I don't want to use this one. To use this one and this one. And you could even sew around the little tags if you want to. I don't want to do that. Otherwise this video will be way too long. But you could if you want to. this and then you could take it a step further by watercolor these in but also not going to do that should I stamp on this one too really quick yeah let's do that the little rose A 
this is going to be in plum. So now we have the rose. Take this out of the way. Also need to add a little butterfly or a little label. Let's see. Um, I have these. These come from different kits. These are um, butterfly sheets that I have in my Etsy. I want to, these are very big. I have different sizes. Also, sepia toned and black and white. This is a small one. I want something with blue. Blue one over here. If you can see, but I have a whole box full with cut out little butterflies. Big, oh, this is a nice one, a little bit too big. Blue. Okay, let me just check what we've got now. Also have little labels. I'm going to use this label, I think, or this one. This one. Oh, I have another idea what I can use as a what do you call it tag topper thing. Need to glue this on. Um, I want it over here. I'm just testing if I'm don't not going into the pocket. So it's a little bit more glue over here. This is okay. Now with the butterflies. And if you don't have a bone folder, you could use a, 
a size the same size of plastic to slide in or uh, a ruler if it fits in the pocket of course Sorry, I was interrupted again by my son. Um, so yeah, uh, we have this. Now I'm thinking, okay, I have to open this one too. Yeah. I didn't glue it down, but I'm not able to slide it in all the way. Did I add it like this? Okay, let me just cut off a little piece from the bottom so it's a little shorter. This can be fixed. Not a biggie. Yeah, this is better. Maybe I need to take down. No, I don't. Okay, I want to. Put a butterfly on um, the smallest tag. I'm not going to use these. Also, ink in the back side because I think you will see that it's sticking out when I glue it on. something like this okay mr supervisor's in the room now <laughs> he's exploring the closet where all the laces are Now you hear him jump down. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but I heard it. I'm going to ink a little bit more, but I don't know what's happening with this paper. It absorbs all the ink. It's really weird. Yeah. We have this one in here. Yeah. And this one, I have, uh, where have I, the little one, I had it somewhere, oh yeah, these are um, index clips from Tim Holtz, sorry, I have to keep lower I think, um, and I've never used them before, because well, they are new, they are new, I'm not sure if I'm going to put them on like this. with nothing special oh sorry he jumped on something and he he scared me um yeah i'm going to leave it like this oh we need um sorry i need to put in an eyelet in here i forgot a goal Oh, yeah. 
What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, but you're jumping. You 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 scare me. Um Okay. Uh, I have this strip. But it's too much of the same. Okay, now he's on the desk. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to I have to get somebody out of the room now. One moment. Okay, he's out of the room and I did cheat a little. I did so these two together. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, because, yeah, I like it. It just gives it a little bit more extra. Um, but you don't have to do it in all detail like I do it. It's just a fun project to do. I'm just going to snip off. Well, I hope it works. I don't know. Oh, that's going to work. Yeah. This is working. And I have to do the same. Of course, this doesn't work. It's too narrow. This is okay. I'm going to put it in here. So, um, just to be sure, I, I'm not saying this is my idea. Um, well, I made this, but th probably somebody already did this before. Um, so, I'm not trying to claim this is my idea. This is just my take on an actual existing thing. Um, and I have this ripped off now, which can be, how do I put this in between, probably like so, yeah, yeah it works. So I thought it's kind of simple, with nothing on it. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to pull too hard, otherwise it will come off. Yeah, I like this. What's the matter? Maybe I need to cut this one a little shorter too, so we don't have the problems anymore.
only thing I don't like because the paper, the blue paper is white on the on the side, on the front side. And if the fabric yeah, this is okay. But if the fabric comes off a little, then you see the stark white paper, which I really don't like. I'm also going to ink a little bit around um, the light blue fabric. And then I think we are done. Oh my, I really like this. So we have a green one and a blue one. I'm just going to clean my desk really quick and then we're going to do the, the winner's draw, the winner's drawing, the numbers drawing. So I clean my desk. Um, yeah, you can see this, I think. Let me check. Can you see? Yeah, you can see it. Um, yeah, I think they turned out pretty well. Uh, I have second thoughts about this now because it's very busy. Maybe if I think like this. Well, it can be like this. It's okay. So, and it's still flexible. You can also glue this on into your journal and make it into another tuck spot, tuck spot again but yeah I'm very pleased with the result uh, yeah let's do some numbers drawing it's 28th today and I'm going to fill you in about Bo this is supervisor but first do a few numbers I21 is the first one And the next one is G53. Oh, it's a rear G. I know it's a G. Um, but yeah, I went to the doctors today with um, Bo. Uh, he had an. Um, some sort of ultrasound you call it yeah like you do when you are pregnant with the belly so his whole belly was shaved he has a pink belly now and they did find something near his stomach and it was some sort of infection but they don't know which one and they also have some lab test running now so in a day or five we know what's going on and then we he will receive some antibiotics because then they know the type they have to give him otherwise they give him a wide spectrum antibiotics and when they have the results they have to give him maybe another one that doesn't because the first one didn't work for the area that it's supposed to work on um, so that was in the schedule today and tomorrow I had to go to the doctor with my son because he has having having very high fever and his throat hurt and he had lumps in his neck and she sent us to the dentist because his uh, there was something in his mouth that looks like a dental problem and then we came to the dentist and the dentist said uh, 39.1 degree celsius is not fever of course it's fever but he said no and he said, well, no, it's okay, just uh, do a little rinsing and uh, we will see you in two weeks. And this is his last work day because he never works on Friday and then he has a week of holiday. And I was, I was feeling like, okay, you don't want to look properly to my son because you have a busy schedule and you want to go on holiday tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm going to call the doctors again. So if maybe he can have some sort of antibiotics too, I'm not sure because, well, he still has high fever despite of the paracetamol. I'm not sure how you say it in English. So that, that was my day today. And it's again very late in the evening. Uh, <laughs> playing bingo. 
with you. Um, but yeah, let's draw some numbers. Um, B6 is the next one. B6. I'm going to draw 10 numbers. I16. I16 is on top. I'm not sure. I hope you can't hear this. My son is rinsing his mouth. <laughs> um, okay, this can't be right because we already had B7. weird I have B7 and it's already here oh yeah I did already okay maybe it popped back into the box which is not a box I still don't know how this is called oh 71 that's correct Let me put B7 away. Okay, I need five more. O63. So yeah, I have a well spent holiday day <laughs> chasing um not chasing running to the doctor, to the dentist, to the vet, go off, buy medicine to rinse, and so, well, it's calling doctor, calling the dentist. O seventy two is the next number. And then I need two more, and then we have 10 numbers today. Or should we do five extra, maybe? Yeah, I'm going to do five extra, just for fun. The next one is N44. Okay, my lighting is very bad. Wait a minute, I have to adjust something. Yeah, this is better. And the next number is B3. So, um, but if you want to give this a try, or if you want to give this a try, do something else with these tags, or something that came up to you, showing me make these, or maybe these ones, show them in a the Facebook group, please, because it's a lot of fun to see. And there was also a lady, a member, that posted her bingo card with the numbers crossed off. Um, uh, the process how far she is and I really like seeing that so that's that's something I would like to see too uh, because it gives me some sort of direction how many times I have to make a video um, the next number is I24 because really <laughs> with everything going on and the lady said I have bingo I was thinking oh maybe I don't have to do a lot of videos anymore because I'm already there um, and that was because of all the things going on because I like playing bingo but uh yeah okay sorry for the interruption well you don't know that but i was in the middle of a conversation with you and then my husband came in um and the next number <laughs> is g51 And then we have another number. We have two more to go. Yeah. O sixty six. Okay, I put out a box that I want to throw away, and I leave it on the hallway. When I go down, I can throw it away. And Bo is playing with it. I can hear him moving it around. He's so annoying. <laughs> and the next number is G59. Uh, 
Okay, I try to film what Bobos was doing with the bugs, but he already stops. <laughs> um, yeah, these are the numbers. We have I21G53B6, I16071, I16072, 72 and 44B3, I24, B10, G51, O66, G59. Saying it right? Yes, I'm saying it right. And in Dutch, I21, G53, B6, I16071, not 0, O71, O63, I30, O72, N44, B3, I24, B10, G51, O66, and G59. So, yeah, these are the numbers for today. Dit zijn de nummers van vandaag. Um, well, see you next time. Please um, show me your cards in the Facebook group with the numbers. Um, show me your makings. Um, again, you have to, you need to have the whole card completely full. Um, I'm just checking what we did. I really like this very, very much. This is going to be continued, also a fun project, but this really made me happy today. Yeah, these came out pretty. Maybe next time I'm not going to use blue, but yeah, blue is fun too. So yeah, this is it for today. Uh, thank you for leaving a comment. Thank you for for all playing with me, watching the videos. Um, in terms of the watch hours, they are not growing very fast because I think there is a little bit delay in what I see the reports that YouTube is making. So, but I'm very hopeful and eventually I will get there. It's not a biggie if it takes some time, but it's so, being so close is, it's changing um, the way you feel about it. It makes you want it more than ever before um but yeah we will see uh, and i hope to see you next time playing bingo or doing something else and stay safe stay creative greetings from the netherlands bye 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 <music>